The battle lines being drawn over the abortion pill. Two competing judicial rulings handed down almost simultaneously have set up what is widely expected to be a showdown at the U.S. Supreme Court. The pill called Mifepristone is one of two drugs commonly used in medication abortion. A federal judge in Texas suspending the FDA's approval, which had been in place for more than 20 years, while a federal judge in Washington state reached the opposite conclusion, ordering that it remain available in states where it's legal. The Biden administration reacting swiftly. Attorney General Merrick Garland already appealing the Texas ruling. The FDA says it's standing behind its long determination that the drug is safe. Both court cases could have national implications, but this widely used abortion pill now remains in legal limbo, raising questions about what this means for access before a higher court weighs in. We have team coverage tonight. Here's ABC's Zareen Shah leading us off. Tonight, protests from Chicago to Houston. This is a huge attack on the right of women. Less than 24 hours after a federal court decision jeopardized access to mifepristone, a key medication used in more than half of U.S. abortions. A reckless decision based on junk science that is going to have devastating consequences for our patients. A Texas judge suspended the FDA's decades-long approval of the drug on Friday and wrote that the FDA's, quote, lack of restrictions resulted in many deaths and many more severe or life-threatening adverse reactions, adding, whatever the numbers are, they likely would be considerably lower had FDA not acquiesced to the pressure to increase access to chemical abortion at the expense of women's safety. Some anti-abortion advocates applauding the judge's ruling. Well, it was certainly a victory. It was one that we've been praying for for some time. But the FDA says it will appeal, insisting it stands behind its determination that mifepristone is safe and effective. Mifepristone is an exceptionally effective and safe medication to use for first trimester terminations of pregnancy. But the FDA has continued to if anything, overly monitor this drug to make sure that it continues to be safe and effective. And now there's a conflicting rule in Washington state. The judge and Obama appointee ruling on Friday to keep the status quo of the drug, writing, quote, abortion restrictions vary state by state and plaintiffs allege harm not shared nationwide. President Biden says his administration will fight the Texas ruling. If it stands, he says, it would prevent women in every state from accessing the medication, regardless of whether abortion is legal in a state. Zareen Shah joining us now. And Zareen, we're hearing from the Attorney General and the DOJ already taking action now. Yeah, with they have, this is likely going to be a drawn out legal battle. Look, the Justice Department overnight filed an appeal and Attorney General Merrick Garland said in a statement that the DOJ will continue to defend the FDA's decision that the abortion pill is both safe and effective. Wit. All right, Zareen, thank you. And the rival abortion pill rulings clearly sparking concern nationwide on both sides of the debate. So let's bring in ABC's senior Washington reporter, Devin Dwyer, who covers the courts for us. So, Devin, what are the immediate next steps in terms of who can access the pill and how likely is it that this will go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court? Well, for the next six days with that FDA approval of mifepristone will stand because the judge stayed his own ruling. So it's status quo. But this week, all eyes will turn to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans, a very conservative court. That's where the Justice Department will seek an extended stay of the Texas judge's decision, allowing mifepristone to remain in use as this all gets sorted out. Whatever the outcome there, it's certain to be bound for the Supreme Court, though there's no timeline on that just yet. As we've been reporting with, the stakes here are very significant. If this ruling stands, it would have a nationwide impact, even in states where abortion is, is legal, and that would uh, dramatically reduce access to the most common form of abortion in this country. Whit. So much at stake as this moves through the courts. Evan Dwyer, our thanks to you tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.